Welcome back to Free Broker with Review Show Gersey to the Work Inspired Podcast. And today we're going to be speaking about feeling achievement. Feeling achievement. And the truth is, the truth is, Ruby Gersey, you know, as gamification fans, we speak about this often. The recognition, the recognition of how powerful, how powerful the feeling of achievement is, is becoming more and more widespread today. And it's being implemented and specifically in the workplace where managers, people trying to encourage people and motivate people to do well, they're using different methods of making people feel achieved. Points. Now, I brought my own badge here today, the number one badge. But, you know, when you get a badge, thank you, when you get a badge, when you get a badge and, you, and, and a person feels a sense of, wow, I've done something, the psychologists and the experts in human behavior are showing how that really makes an impact on the way that a person functions. And it's interesting because the reality is that for many people, for many people, when it comes to when they look at their careers, when they look at their professions, or let's just say at the end of a long day, right, at the end of a long day, when they're coming out of the office right, and they're on their way home, they look back, right, many people don't feel such a sense of achievement. They don't feel so good about themselves. And when we think about why, you know, it's nice to always blame it on someone else and be, oh, it's because of my boss and, you know, it's because of, you know, that manager that I have, he's never showing appreciation, he's never pointing out what I've done, he's always focused on what's missing. The truth is, if we're honest, if we're honest, very often it might be ourselves, it might be ourselves that we don't allow ourselves to feel achievement, right? We don't allow ourselves to look back at the end of the day and say, Wow, amazing, look what I've done, look what I've done today, look what I've done this week, look what I've done over the last five years of my career. So what we wanna do here today is, as always, to be able to dig deep, try to be able to understand, specifically from a Jewish perspective, what does the Torah have to say? What does the Torah have to say about this experience of feeling achievement, and particularly when it comes to our jobs and when it comes to our careers? I take it away. Okay. I first want to start off by saying that um, any time we sit here, you know, we've, we've spoken over this a little bit. And when you say to dig deep and to excavate, I tell you there's a little voice in front of me. It really, you know, for the 25 minutes, however long, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long we're sitting here, it's not the full depth and breadth of exploring a sugya. 100%. And, and I, I, you know, it's like, so there's gonna, always more, so there's always more. We're not digging deep. We, we're we're digging, deep. Sorry? So let's dig just a little bit. Yes. <laughs> just a little uh, bit. I, I, it, uh, you're right, you're because right. Because I think any of these, co- you know, it's interesting. First of all, I just want to thank, um, do I thank the viewers? Can I thank the viewers? Do I have Rishus? Yes. Yeah, we can thank I've got, uh, our fans, we can uh, thank our fans. Our cameraman gave me Rishus to thank the viewers. First of all, it's an amazing thing. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting with the Heliger Svi. Who knows who's watching? I don't know who's watching. They told me this is good. They said, sit down in front of a camera and talk. <laughs> we're talking, we're trying to do, and what are we doing? We're doing L'Shem Shemaim. We're doing it based on Hashem that we can machazek the Rabbim. We can be a kli to Magala Elokus. So this is in touch with what we're speaking here, that we can hopefully have a sense of achievement. But that sense of achievement, when you feel good with something and you're doing it in a kasha yasha way, that's you expressing HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world in your unique, special way. So do I feel achieved? I feel achieved because I was told that this is what it could be people need. You know, it could be. We got bracha from the Eilig Rebbe, the Biala Rebbe, Shlita, and... and, and, and Rabbi Tversky, Rabbi Michal Tversky, and other tzaddikim, they gave us the koyach to do this. And it makes, I mean, I feel good. I feel good when I'm helping people. I feel good. But I also feel good when I'm cleaning the base of Medrash. So I try to be of service. I try to be of service, and that being of service helps me feel fulfilled and good. But to sit here and to record and to share is, is you know, we're, we're looking into what? We're looking into two little dots. You see the little dots? Mm. These two little dots. And the hope is that you, like, get something back. Maybe, maybe, or at least to hear that we're being helpful. And I just want to thank, this is a long way, um, just a long way around, included in what we're saying. I just want to thank, we got messages. You know, people are sending you messages. Um, I had a conversation with somebody who... <coughs> had an observation, he felt maybe we missed something out a little bit. 
um, and I spoke to them, and it's amazing. It's amazing. This is a few weeks ago, a podcast, and they, they, they said they were kind enough. They sent a message. It's like an amazing thing. They sent a message. And then somebody else contacted me. Somebody contacted me and they asked, would you have time to speak? And I'm like, How, uh, where do I know you from? He says, you don't yet. I heard your podcast. And then somebody was doing, they called me up yesterday. They're cleaning their dishes. They're cleaning up the dishes. And they're like listening to the podcast. They said, maybe it was disrespectful to say that I was cleaning while listening to this. I said, no, no, chas shalom. But the point is, it's, it's something special when you get feedback and it, it's getting, some people agree. Some people disagree. That's okay. But people took time to listen. Like one thing, they took time to listen. They took time to reflect. They took time to write something. Even like this guy said, um, he felt we were missing something out with what we were. And I, he says, I hope you, you know, like this is one of my thoughts. I said, it's amazing. The fact is, and, and like talking about achievement, I know for you and I know for me, some, the why of what we're doing to be of service. Uh, that's something very special. That's something very special to have that achievement and to feel that achievement. Um, I, I would like to, you know, with the topic, I think it's something very important. Reb Tzvi and, and myself, and there's a number of other people, the Heilige cameraman, Reb Yaina, the Heilige cameraman. So we're in different, there's Chaburas. We have a Masaira to, of, of how we run Chaburas, 10 to 12 people, um, some, 15, whatever it may be, excuse me, and we sit together and we work by Avedis Hashem. The derech of Avedis that we received, as you, you ever know, was from Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac Shapir, who was a Talmud of the Piyasets in Rebbe. <coughs> and we have a derech of Avedis of, you know, the, the, the technical, bigger picture, learning side of things. But then we have, for example, one segment of the Chaburas is Avedis Hashem, where we pick a middle to work on. And we work on that middle for the whole month and we partner up and we machazak we each other. But what's one of the most, everyone loves that by the way, they love it, yeah, excellent, we have our Aveda and we're working on our Aveda. But what's one of the most difficult things in, in Chabura with, with, um, with the Aveda Sachaydesh? What do we all laugh at? Uh, celebrate, how to be able to celebrate yeah. the achievement of getting something yes. done. Yes, by the Pia Setzna, the derech was you celebrate your accomplishment. And in, in choosing an Aveda, people are really good at, okay, this is what I need to do. In carrying through the Aveda, and what happens is you, you sit, you have a chavrusa for the month, and you ask them, what can you do to help me? What can I do to help you? And then the most difficult thing for people is like, how are you going to celebrate this accomplishment? And you go around to each person, ah, oh, I don't know, I didn't celebrate, I did that, I don't know. It's like, and it's a funny thing. And not just within Limit HaTayra, of course, if we look at the Bar Papas. Mamish, big parties, every Masechta, everything that they did, it was a celebration. And, and it's not just to celebrate your accomplishment, it's not just for Taira, it's for anything. Right. Done in a healthy way, done in a healthy way to celebrate your accomplishments is the most important, healthiest, brilliant thing a person can do. Wow. Chino of Siyam, the Chino of Siyam, to Siyam and to celebrate It's not the just Siyam. right, because it, it, for, when it comes to the Siyam at Torah, it comes to, we just having a conversation about this, right, is that, you know, perhaps it could be just seen as a celebration of the Torah. Correct. But not my personal celebration, because there can be some sort of type of way of thinking of, what, I'm celebrating what I did, but maybe I'm a Balgaiva, what it's about me. And we try to be able to take that out. It's just about the Torah. But what I'm hearing is, is that obviously there's a celebration of Torah being learned, but there's also a celebration of achievement. It's, of, I, I just want to add, it's an amazing Nakuda. There's a celebration. I remember speaking to Rav Eliashev. I took somebody to Rav Eliashev about the Nakuda of ACM. And the person says, but I don't feel like I did much. You know, it's like in Chabura a couple of weeks ago, somebody was Masaim and they said, they said themselves, I, like, it feels good, but I... And Rav Eliashev said that the Siyam, you think it's just for you? The Siyam is not just for you. The Siyam is for other people, that other people can come and be Mechazik, says are covered for other people. So much so that if they come to a Siyam, it's as if they Masaim were you a Masaim. So it's for other people, and it's covered by Kodesh Baruch Hu. Wow. Covered for Kodesh Baruch Hu. When you're something, 
to celebrate it. It's about you. It is about you. We'll discuss that in a minute. It's about other, and it's about HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And there's a deep sod behind that, but, but Nish Pashat, it's Nish Pashat. Right, but, but, would it, but if I'm celebrating, you know, if it's I'm celebrating the Torah, I, I can understand, you know, somebody is an, an Oyvind Hashem, right, he's trying to work on themselves, we're celebrating HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Torah, but it would seem that when it comes to the, that celebration of achievement, right, whether it's, I finished a Masecha, or we're just speaking over here, even outside of the realm, you know, I made the deal. You know, I, 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 I closed I closed in this amount of money. You know, I got the promotion. And now I'm going to pull out the bottle of L'chaim. You know, I'm going to sit back with a couple of friends. I'm just going to celebrate what I did. Isn't it a little bit, you know, like, where is HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the picture? You know, maybe a bit of like, where, where is the Amuna? Where is the Bitachon? It's, it's, it starts, it, it seems like, I know for myself, like once I start to think about that, there's so many thoughts that are popping up in my head. You know, all those talks I've been hearing about, no, 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 it's about, it's about, about, about Hashem, no, don't fall into this trap. And, the, the, and we've spoken, you know. What's the Pasuk? What's yeah, the Pasuk? Kaychi, no. That's uh, the Pasuk, right? The, the Pasuk where it's told, right? Uh, right? That uh, this is a warning. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, beware, be careful. But then if you stop, what's the next part of the Pasuk? Now, we like to stop over there. <laughs> no, you have to say over the next part of the Pasuk. So the first part of the Pasuk is telling us what? Be careful. Know that it's not from you. Know that it's not, it's not from your hands. Whoa! Oy Then the next part. Right, so the next part is right that for the heart of Hashem Adokecha, right? Ki who knows the nacha koach lasos? So I tell you the pills merav. So what does that mean? Maybe translated. So it, if so then Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, okay, don't do that. But what you should do is to remember that it's Hakadosh Baruch Hu who's given you the koach to be able to do it, right? To be to be able to achieve this. So this is something which I think is very, 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 very important. I remember this is one of the big things I learned from Rabbi Singer. Rabbi Singer would say that this Pasuk is communicating to us. Know that you are not an isolated being. You're not an isolated being. So it, we, we were speaking, you know, there's this term, a self-made millionaire, self-made business, a self-made this, self-made that. There's no such thing as self-made. You always need help. Hosh up shot from other people. People are helping you along the way. You know, there was um, somebody in, in, when I was in Kailal, he's an artist, and he drew this beautiful picture of a ladder. And what are the runs of the ladder? The runs of the ladder are the important people in your life. And who's climbing the ladder? A child. So you've got the parents, you've got the grandparents, you've got the teachers. And he drew this beautiful, I've, got, I've still got a picture of it, I took a picture of it, it was so moving, that a child goes into teenagehood and a teenager goes, teenager goes into adulthood, it's never isolated. And stage one is the Pasuk is telling us, yes, it's talking about Hashem, but it's the awareness that there's no self-made anything. Everything is Hashkacha Pratis. On one level, other people are helping you always. On another level, apart from the Hashkacha Pratis, you know, in the Kalal of how, you know, we're all helping each other. And we all have help during our lifetime to get where we're going to get. The second Nakuda Poshab Shad, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives you your Kayach. But this is something very deep because each and every one of us are a Merkava to Magala HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world. And the fact that we can accomplish something, if we, Chas V'Shalom, say, oh, I did it off my own back. You know, stop, I did it myself. That's a problem. But if we accomplish something, and I know that that Kayach came from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that Kayach came through me, me, and it's a kayach from a Kaddish Baruch Hu to megala something in the world. It's Kavod Shalim to celebrate. It's a Kaddish Baruch Hu shining a Kaddish Baruch Hu's light through you. And you are unique. There's never ever been a you before. There never ever will be a you again the way you are now. And we've said this time and time again. And the you that is living now is being megala a Kaddish Baruch Hu in a particularly unique way ever than before. So when we are celebrating... We're celebrating the fact that the you has accomplished something with the Kaykh of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. 
And you are allowed to celebrate that. Look what I did with the Kaich of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I drew down and I've expressed something very different and unique in the world. And that's the first part. You're not allowed to say it's just me. But when you say it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave me that Kaich. And I used that Kaich to, to, to Megala a flavor of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world that's never been Megala before. That is a cause for celebration. And you know how precious, you know how precious it is when somebody has graduated from this world. What do we say? Yehei Shmei Rabba, may your name be great. Yehei Shmei Rabba, may your name be great. So let me ask you a simple question. Isn't that a bit of an odd thing to say? And may Hashem name speak what? Hashem's name is, is lessened in the world when someone's nifta? How can Hashem's light, Hashem's name, be lessened? Is Hakadosh Baruch Hu? You hear the question? Poshup shat is that yes, Hakadosh Baruch Hu's light is lessened in the world when there's one person missing in the world. So we say Yeheshme Rabba, Yeheshme Rabba, because our lives are worth celebrating. Everything that we do is worth celebrating. And it's mamash a cover to celebrate. Done in the right way, celebration is so powerful of the smallest, littlest thing to the biggest thing in the world. To celebrate any accomplishment is so, so powerful. Wow, it's beautiful, the diok in the, in the, in the Pasuk itself, because we're seeing on one side of the coin, Hashem saying, we shouldn't say, right, that it, it's only coming from us. And then the Zechartas Hashem and Okacha, right, that we should remember Hashem. It doesn't say, remember Hashem, and Hashem did it. We say, remember Hashem, ki huan osein lecha koach lasos, but Hashem gave you, Hashem gave me koach, but at the end of the day, I did it. Correct. I did it, you did it, you did something, you did it. And, and Hashem is not telling us that we should negate that feeling, right, and that's why we find that it's an amazing thing, that when we allow ourselves to experience achievement, it feels good. It naturally feels good, right? When, when, you get, when you're given recognition, right? When each one of us are given recognition for something that we did, right? So it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking, ah, if I'm feeling any level of recognition, I know I, I, I sign up like this, you know, one of these people, it's, it's gaiva. If I feel any level of recognition, right? If your boss writes you, a good report, right? If you're honored, you know, at a dinner and you've done something, you have done something, you've, you've achieved something, you get a, a raise, you get a promotion and you start to feel, wow, I did something. Uh, 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 be careful. That's gaiva. What? You're thinking about yourself. It's very easy to think that way. But what we see is no, in the right context, HaKadosh Baruch Hu created this feeling this experience that we have from achievement, and it feels good. It feels good. It, we, and it's meant to. It's meant to feel it's good. Meant to it's meant to feel good. good. We even have Sukkim to speak about it. You know, this is really where we spoke about just, you know, really, maybe we won't say, you know, dig deep. We'll say maybe, you know, prodding on an, an iceberg. You know, in Baruch Hashem, you know, in the base measures program, the base measures program here, you know, in Pilsner, where we really had the opportunity to spend a lot of time, you know, going into these topics about about work and, and bitachon and ishtadas. We're going to be rolling out a mini course. We're going to be rolling out a mini course soon. And make sure to look out for it, which is going to be able to go a little bit deeper into this topic, right? But we saw this pasik, this pasik which we say every single day, right? Yegia kapecha v'soichal, asherecha v'toivlach, right? That when we, when we're yegia, when we put in our effort, right? We sweat, right? We show up, right? We crack our heads. And we're speaking about parnasa here. Yegia kapecha v'soichal, v'soichal, and then you eat. Right, you get your paycheck, you see the results, right? You see, you know, you see, you see on the charts, everything's moving up and things are going in the right direction. Ashrecha v'toivlach, right? What did Chazal say? Ashrecha v'oylem azet. It's fortunate, are you? It feels good. It feels good. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to feel good. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to feel good. He wants us to feel good with the achievement. Why does he want us to feel good with the achievement? Right, because what happens when we feel good about our achievements? We're better cleat to Megala HaKadosh Baruch Hu's are in the world. Right. right. That's, that's the way that, right, as Rebbe always likes to say, you know, that, that if you want to plant an orange tree, uh, it plant an, if you want to plant, if you want to eat an orange, you have to plant an orange tree, an orange seed. If you want to eat an apple, you have to plant an apple seed. So what would happen if a person wants an apple, but they plant the seed of a pepper? They're not going to get the <laughs> seed, they're not going to get the fruit that they want or the vegetable they want to eat. So it's the same with the words. Words are seeds. 
And we're always planting these seeds in the ground and the words that we plant are going to become trees. And the question is, what seeds am I planting? So if, for example, I'm planting words of chas v'shalom, defeat, and, and I can't, and it's not going to work out, that's the tree that will grow. But if I, I can, with siyat deshmai, with Hashem's help, with Hashem's help, with my Rebbe's help, and with my friend's help, I can and I will. So you're planting seeds, and those seeds are going to grow into trees, of strong trees of I can, I will, I will be successful, I will be happy, I will be joyful. Wow. It's amazing, and that's why, I, on some levels, when we when we celebrate that achievement, you know, there's obviously many wrong ways to celebrate achievement, right? We all know that. But if we celebrate achievement in the right way, with this understanding of that it's coming from a Kadosh Baruch Hu, and even to appreciate the fact that a Kadosh Baruch Hu is creating me in this way that I'm able to experience, right, that that positive feeling of what I've achieved, and then take that experience, like we do at a Siyum, right? What do we do at a Siyum? We celebrate achievement. And then right away we start. Yeah, because start we're fresh, able to, to from do. that place of, of feeling good about what we have achieved, that enables us to then be able to build on that success and then to be able to use it even more. And a Kaddish Baruch Hu, as we've said many times here in the podcast, right, a Kaddish Baruch Hu wants us to be successful. He wants us to be successful and He designs us in this way. And it's, it's just an amazing thing how sometimes, sometimes we could, for good intentions, good intentions we can sabotage ourselves, you know, sabotage ourselves with these Jewish ideas of thinking, oh no, we can't feel achievement, that that's against the Kaddish Baruch Hu, if I feel any sense of achievement, and ultimately that, that could be coming from the Yitzhahara, because the Yitzhahara knows, right, as Rebbe says, you know, failure breeds failure, right, and if we're not able to recognize and celebrate and feel that achievement of all those good things that we achieve, right? That's not, that could hold us back from achieving more. You know, maybe I could share in Cheshbon and Nefesh, when we do our Cheshbon and Nefesh, one of the exercises that we have is an exercise that for so many seems a little bit odd. So for many people, Cheshbon and Nefesh is, oh, where I, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well here. I'm not. Rabbi Yitzchak Rajinsky, and, and I heard this from Rav Volbi as well, Zohran Nivracha, they said as following, why do we have to say how bad you're doing? <laughs> Tell me how good you're doing. And in Cheshbon and Nefesh, they would journal and write, look what I did, I did this, and I did that, and I did the other. And Mamash, Chizuk, Chizuk, look what I've done well. I got up in the morning, or I, I got up, you know, I've done this, and I smiled at this person, I davened, I, I helped this person. Look how much and how rich my life is that I, I'm doing, I, I'm Mamash, I'm achieving, wow. and to celebrate that. Yes. And what you, you reminded me before, what do we say? We have this um, a, a beautiful tagline. And that is, failure doesn't breed success. Success breeds success. Failure doesn't breed success. If we're constantly talking about our failings, failure leads to more failure. That's what you're planting. They're the seeds you're planting. But when you, mamash, success, look what I've done. Mamash, look what I've done. And you machazik, it builds momentum. Failure does not breed success. Success breeds success. Such an important yisoid. Rabbi Singh used to say this in Yiddish. But it's such an important yisoid to come and show, look what I've done. Get excited. Build momentum. And do more of that. Do, do more. Celebrate your accomplishments. Then, then, then you can celebrate even more accomplishments and celebrate even more accomplishments. And just imagine, every single day you look back and you see how accomplished you are. Every week you look back and see how accomplished you are. Every month you look back and see how accomplished you are. Every year you look back and see how accomplished you are. When a person is graduating from this world, whoa, that wow. is a fulfilled, well-lived life. Well, that's, that's something to invest in. That's definitely something to invest in. Amazing, amazing. So to sum up what we discussed here today, you know, we threw out this question, feeling achievement, right? Is it a Jewish idea? And what we've seen is 100%. HaKadosh Baruch Hu understands us the most. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made us, He designed us, and therefore He understands the role of feeling good and recognizing what our achievement is and seeing that it's, when done correctly, it's not a contradiction at all. It's not a contradiction at all with the Vekas with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. When it's done correctly, that is the pathway of ultimately coming to this Vekas with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. The challenge we'll throw out there for this week, right, is when you're at your work desk, take a moment, right? 
often we speak about journaling. If you like writing, it's an amazing. Just grab a piece of paper, open up a, a file on your computer. If that doesn't work for you, you don't like writing, that's also okay. Okay, take a deep breath right? and just reflect, reflect or write down. What did I achieve today at work? What was one goal, something that I was working towards? And after you have it written down, after you've said it, just be with it for a moment. Just be with it and try to be able to sense that feeling, that positive feeling of feeling good. And as we've said here, as you do that, as you do that, with Hashem's help, you will continue and continue to become more successful, be more impactful. And we should all have a tzlacha in feeling achievement. Amen. Bracha mazel and hatzlacha.